Oh, so far, so far, so far. What's up everybody? Today we're gonna be looking at my gaming setup. I know what you're thinking. Kyle, your PC isn't supposed to go in front of your monitors, how will you play the game? Well, there's a sad story that happened last night. I was playing a little bit of Fortnite and then I was editing some photos for my buddy and I got a little hungry. So I'm like, okay, you know, I'm gonna grab some tea and some biscuits and I'm gonna eat them at my desk like I always do. Then what happened was I got a little startled, knocked over my tea, and it went all over my PC and it shut off. So I think the power supply went. I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but I, we're gonna open it up, take the power supply to a store, and hopefully the power supply can still be used. But I didn't turn it on because I didn't wanna risk you know, breaking any other components because of a faulty power supply. So we're gonna open this baby right up. And I know what you guys are thinking. Most of you guys get mad when people don't use these straps. So I'm gonna tie this strap onto my ankle, and you're just gonna have to trust me on this. And I'm gonna attach it to some grounding piece somewhere, right? All right, guys, so first thing we gotta do is remove the two side panels. So we're gonna start off with this one. And the power supply, for those of you guys that don't know, is at the bottom right here. So once these two bolts are out, uh, these washers break so much, guys, it's actually annoying. Okay, so there we go. We got the two bolts out, got the washers with them. Okay, and then we're gonna just remove it, just pull like that, super simple. So this side panel actually doesn't have the power supply, but it has a couple of wires running from the power supply right here that we need to remove later. And then we need to go onto this side. Hopefully I don't break anything. All right guys, and this is the power supply right here. So this is the thing that we need to actually undo. So what we need to do is grab a couple screwdrivers because it's apparently screwed on here and then just pop it out. It's not fully modular, that's the only downside. So because it's not fully modular, I actually do need to remove these wires with it. If it was fully modular, you just grab it and go. That's all you need to do, right? It's super easy. So the two tools you'll need for the job is a screwdriver and something to cut the zip ties because I'm assuming you did proper cable management. So there are four bolts here, one, two, three, four, that need to be undone for this. So we're just gonna get undo that quickly. Awesome, so once those four bolts are out, the power supply unit should just be able to move around. Okay, so this is a semi-modular power supply. So after doing undoing those four bolts, you can see it moves around, but there are two detachable wires, which are these multicolored ones over here, in case you can't see. These two multicolored ones at the bottom. So those ones, it's simple. All you do is unplug, and they're out. So these wires are all zip-tied when I first built the computer. So on the back, we've zip-tied all this together, and we need to detach some of these. So these are the power wires right here. So these need to come out. So we need to figure out a way to do that. This wire's already out, so that's pretty good. Okay, so the first wires we need to get out are the GPU power wires. So we just unplug these. And once they're unplugged, we just simply pull them out nice and safely so we don't hit anything else. And then just squeeze them through. They should come out nice and easy. All right. So just to make things easier, we're gonna actually pull out this power supply right now. And so we have one more wire in the CPU, so we need to unplug that one. So we're just gonna go in, press the little top knob, and it should come out like a breeze. The only downside is this wire detaches, so you get half and half. So we unplug the GPU, so we can pull the GPU wires out. So the GPU wires, and then the only thing that's left is the big wire over here. So this big wire right here is the only thing that's left. So we can unplug that. So we unplug that, that's the last one. And, oh, my rubber's coming out as well. We should be good to go. Yeah, if the rubber detaches, it's not too big a deal. You can see there's a little crevice right there. All you need to do is just simply pop that back in. Boom. We actually didn't need to cut anything because most of them I used zip ties, or twist ties instead of zip ties. All right guys, so we got the power supply unit out. That's pretty much all the work there is to getting the power supply unit out. So we need to take this to the shop, they're gonna do some tests on it. Let me know if it's still usable or not. I hope it is, but if it's not, then we gotta buy a new $70 power supply, which kinda sucks. Hello. 
But I just had a quick question. I had uh, I called earlier, mm -hmm. and my power supply unit I think got a little bit of liquid in. Mm -hmm. So someone said I could get it here tested for free. Yeah, we can just yeah. use a power supply and test her out and see if she's working still. Because I didn't um, want to like boot up the PC and have that sir. power yeah, supply. Nice. Um, yeah, so it's receiving intermittent power. Um, we've tried it with a couple different uh, power supply testers. Basically, sometimes it will put power through the cables, and then other times it won't, um, which could end up harming your parts if, if you plug it in. Yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah, no worries. Have a good one. See you later. Yeah, All right, guys, so after taxes and all, it came to about 110 bucks, which really sucks. But I mean, hey, gotta get the PC working eventually, right? Okay, guys, so we came back from the store and our power supply was fried. So we decided to buy a new one because it was giving a variable power, which means that the power was fluctuating and wasn't consistent, which can be really bad for the motherboard and other components. So we went with the Cooler Master Masterwatt 750 watt power supply. We're about to open it up, and what we were told was that this is gonna be comparable and good enough to run 90 Ti, which is our biggest component. So I don't have a knife, but we got a, we got a sub scissors. So all we're gonna do, wait, actually I do have a knife. Haha. -ha. Hold it higher. Haha. -ha. You took that from me. Yeah, I did. How? <laughs> How do you undo this? It's locked. Well, well, it's huh? not you idiot. What do you mean? Yeah, it's locked. You want me to give it to you? No. You have to pull that thing out. Do I actually? No, not that. What thing? This thing. Nope, this thing, right here. Yeah, that's what I was playing with, oh my god. They said this was the only plastic we could damage and we could still like, get a refund for. Everything else in here needs to be come out, needs to come up pretty, pretty nicely or we might not get a refund if we need to return this. So we're gonna handle it with care, guys. Ah, it opens from the side. There we go. So we have our power cable, which we don't care about. We have our instructions, which we still don't care about. And we have our actual power supply. Oh, it's not even packaged that like crazy. So we can be actually pretty good. Uh, and there's our power supply. So all the excess cables we don't really care about. These are this is our motherboard power supply. This is our CPU power supply. We gotta we need to have extra cables for our GPU power supply. Which isn't too too bad, but we just need to do that. So first things first, let's roll this in. Here's a fun fact, okay? So with the with the with the power supply, the fan should always face downward because that way it'll push the ex excess of air into the floor and not into your case. So that way you at least have a cooler case. Get it? A cooler case. So these two wires need to go up into that CPU socket right over there. So we're just gonna like reach in and plug it in there. But the worst part about this is it disconnects. So you see that it disconnects, it's two separate wires. So we need to hold them together to make sure that they don't split up. And then nice and gently. So now that we got that plugged in, we need to plug in this wire into the motherboard right there. So we're gonna do that right now. So for this wire, since it's a bit bigger, we're just gonna slip it through there. You just need to watch out for all this extra cabling over here because we don't want to get in the way of that. So we're just gonna slip it in like that. Try not to get the molding out because we want it to be as clean of a of wiring as possible. Can I have a plug for that? All right, guys. So I lied. We actually do need this giant mess of cables because we need a uh, couple of ports. We need to use these ports for the GPU, and then we also need to use where are the other ones? We need those more. Then we need these ones here for 
the ram the SSDs I mean. Yes, yeah, so we just need to use a whole swad of these when I didn't want to. So that kind of sucks. So I guess we have to are these the ones that we need to unplug? Yeah, this is the one we need to unplug. Yeah, alright, so we're unplugging this. This looks like I can use this for the GPU. Yeah, yeah, but that looks like we can use that for the GPU. Okay, if all goes well, that should be all we need and that should work. So we're just gonna plug it in, see if everything turns on and nothing bad happens. All right guys, so we just plugged it in. Okay, watch. Hey, Sparks. Did anything turn on? <laughs> no. Oh, you plug yeah, it, in? it might, yeah, no, it might help find it. Okay guys, I forgot to tell you, um, for you to have power, you need to actually plug in your power power source. So we're just gonna plug this in. Okay, so that's all good. Okay, now, now watch, now no, watch. No, it's good. They're already on. Wait, what? No, no, that's my oh, monitor. Ready? Any sparks, anything? Okay, your fan moved. Did it move? Yeah. We'll try one more time. If it doesn't work, then I have to figure out why. Again. Which fan? Uh, the CPU fan. Oh, the CPU, CPU fan. Cooler, yeah. Do I have a loose connection, maybe? Like, if it, it moves, it could be a loose connection. Let me unplug the GPU just in case. Let's see. I'm hoping it's not the motherboard. Oh, there's a fire, 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 so. Hey guys, so apparently something fell on the GPU and caught on fire. But on the bright side, we do have power on the motherboard. Okay guys, just to be a little bit extra safe, we're gonna remove the GPU. Okay right, guys, so we got it working. So now all we need to do is just see if we have any response on the computer. So I'm about to plug in a DVI port or HDMI port. I'm not entirely sure which cable yet. And we're gonna see if it's running like right now with just the CPU. If it is, then we'll plug in the GPU again because right now nothing's going wrong, at least so far. And we'll see. Alrighty guys, so we got a VGA cable that we can use with the current motherboard. I'm hoping that the CPU isn't fried. I'm just using the wrong power. But if it's just fried, that's gonna suck. Okay. Okay, ready? Oh, all right guys, as you guys can see, we have a working PC, which means that our hard drive, for some reason, isn't being sensed. So because our hard drive isn't being sensed, I'm hoping it's an easy like power fix, but if it's not, then we'll have to figure out something else. Oh, okay guys, guys, I figured it out. So, this cable had no power. So it wasn't able to actually do anything with the hard drive. So what we're gonna need is we're gonna need the equivalent for our current power cable, which is this one right here. So that's gonna plug in. So let's see if that works. Just feed this through the bottom. So let's go around the, the corner. Underneath all this corner. 
I'm gonna feed it some nicely. All right. Then we're gonna plug it in. We're gonna plug it into the power right there. Boom. So it's plugged into the power now. And then on the other side, uh, on the other side right there. As you can see on the other side right there, we're just gonna plug it in to our hard drive. All right, so let's plug it into our hard drive. Now we're gonna flip it around. Hopefully that fixes everything. No more fires, it can boot up nicely. So now, turn it on. Oh, I know what the sound is. It's my uh, freaking wire, like the cable right here. Okay. It's in the GPU fan. All right, so we managed to get the computer working without the GPU. So that means the GPU might be the only thing that's that's problematic, but it doesn't seem to be giving me any issues right now. So we need to figure out a way to get the GPU working. So if we turn this off again, unplug this, We plug this back in. Okay. Let's try this one more time. Okay. That looks good. Okay, so we're gonna this wire here. I figured out that's the sound. So what we need to do is we need to like clamp this wire to the side. So I'm just gonna do that right now. Just like that. Oh, this is a small twist. We'll use this just side. Because the wire is too close to the, to the CPU fan. Let's we'll tie this wire around here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to turn it on one more time. Hopefully there's no spark. Hopefully there's no fire. Akil's gonna watch out for us because he's our fire expert. Are you ready? Man, I'm actually scared. If we're meant to die, we're meant to die. It just won't turn on. There's like no power going there. So you think? Like if I disconnect this wire, right? This wire right here, this power wire. Yeah. Check if there's power going to that wire. Okay. What the heck? It's literally plugging these two wires in. I don't think it's the wires, I think it's the GPUs. Yeah, but like plugging these wires in won't let the, the computer, the GPU start anything. So hold on, let's see. I can do it this way. Oh, I probably should turn it on. Alright, so the good news is that we have a functioning PC. The bad news is that our GPU isn't working. So now what we're gonna do is put this all back together and then put it back under my desk and I guess we'll have to use it without a GPU until we have a GPU. So yeah, I'm just gonna pack it all up and uh, put it all together. Alright guys, so the PC is all back together. Now all we need to do, we're gonna put it back under the desk. 
and I guess we'll be using the tiny monitor for a little bit until we get the big monitors all fixed and sorted out. Looks like you stayed till the very end. Aren't you a trooper? Well, before we get to the bloopers, how about helping out the channel a little bit? Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification icon so you can stay up to date with the latest videos from this channel. So without any further ado, here are some bloopers. So we need to figure out why that is and what can we do about it. It might be a solution where we need to buy a new GPU. Why would you pick your nose in the middle of the recording? <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> 